A new study from NASA explores the possibility of life on Mars, and the University of Washington took part in this research. No evidence of Martians or microbes has turned up yet, but this study is all about where to look. As Fox 13's Matthew Smith reports, the study author is a NASA scientist who just took a new job at UW. If you're trying to find life in the universe, we don't know if it's there, but this would be a really good place to look. We know there's frozen water on the surface of Mars, but we don't know what's beneath it. There could be pockets of liquid water. And this new study suggests that photosynthesis may be taking place in those melt pools, creating a potential home for microbial life. There are depths that are on the order of centimeters to meters or a few feet um, where the harmful ultraviolet radiation gets blocked, but the helpful radiation for photosynthesis can still go through. Adita Kohler is a researcher at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. With computer models, he's shedding light on ancient ice formed from snow that fell during a series of Martian ice ages. That snow was mixed with dust, and that dust could play a key role. Because ice is translucent, the sunlight goes inside, heats on the inside, especially if there's dust inside, which is dark. The dust is now absorbing that light and can melt within the ice, not at the surface where it would evaporate. Here's what these ice features look like on Earth, and they're teeming with life. We're talking algae, fungi, and bacteria. But when it comes to exploring liquid water on Mars, there's debate whether it even exists, and there's some red tape for the red planet. It turns out that we're actually currently not allowed to go to the places where there's liquid water. That's off limits under NASA's Planetary Protection Program, where the concerns over contamination sound like the stuff of science fiction. If you bring back the samples from Mars and it's this uh, flesh-eating bacteria that's been waiting for eons to feast on humans. That's partly why the Mars rover is rolling around dry former lake beds, searching for signs of life from billions of years ago. Looking in the future, Kohler will continue his quest to find life on Mars as the senior researcher at UW's Applied Physics Laboratory. I did, however, just move to Seattle two days ago, so my apartment is still empty. That was Matthew Smith reporting. Kohler's upcoming research involves simulations that could add credence to melt pools on Mars. He also plans to recreate some of that dusty Martian ice in a laboratory setting to study it up close.